how to make the handprint roses that Lucy and I made for her grandmas and great grandmas. So you're going to need some heavy weighted paper, um, a cardstock would work too, some red paint and a paintbrush, a smaller brush would be better but that's the only one I had, some green pipe cleaners, red ribbon, and a glue gun. The first thing I did was paint Lucy's hand using the paintbrush. That way I got a nice even and thick coat of paint on her hand and I could just stamp as many handprints as possible on one piece of paper without having to re-dip her hand. Now I had to work quick, I had my table covered with wax paper, and I had Mickey Mouse playing to distract her. All things that I definitely recommend if you try to do this with your one-year-old. The next thing we do is cut out the handprints. I didn't feel a need to cut out each individual finger, I just cut out a circle around the handprint. Next, I just used a line of hot glue down the back of each handprint to attach the pipe cleaner. I tried the first one with regular glue and it just didn't stick as well, so I definitely recommend hot glue. I just bundled four handprints together. I would made a little card using the same paper I used to make the handprints and the red ribbon and tied it together and um, just kind of positioned. Sometimes I bent the pipe cleaner so it would kind of make it so you can see every handprint. I then just tied a pretty little bow and I did one little dot of hot glue in the center before I completely tightened the bow just to make sure it stayed together and didn't come untied. And then that's it. That's how we made our little craft for all of Lucy's grandmas and great grandmas. See you next time.